This isn't BBC Radio 2, it's the James Whale Radio Show. Ah, there we are. I thought we were going to get turned on tonight. Welcome to the show. Here we are live tonight in a programme about people who are heard but seldom seen. And if you want to phone in tonight, we'd like to know uh, of uh, what you think heard and seldom seen is. What sort of things can you hear but very seldom see? Somebody suggested the musicians on any Millie Vanilli single. Um, I thought that was a little unfair, really. Or what was, the, what was some other things you suggested? What else did you suggest? What was that? Shout them out. Mosquitoes. Mosquitoes in hotel bedrooms. You can never hear them, but... Is that right? Yeah. See them, but... Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you can phone us on this number, of course, coming up on your screens. There it is, 0532 46 1000, and tell us your uh, ideas of what is heard but seldom seen. My first guest tonight is heard on Radio 2, Radio 5, and uh, seldom seen, I think, James Alexander Gordon, aren't Very you? Very seldom seen, James. Now, where did you start? About 20 years ago, I started broadcasting. And you're the, one of the men and there are a few of you that do the football results. I, d I solely do the football results for um, Radio Sport. Right. Uh, but but uh, it, it's, it's a particular style, isn't it? It's not something that, uh, that is as easy as it sounds. It's not as easy as it sounds, although it's quite logical. When you think if you have a winning team, for instance, I'll give you an, an example. Uh -huh. Four for are playing East Fife. Who? Four for. Oh, four for, four for, yes. So, yeah. right. Yeah, so, four for, four for right. have, um, there's a famous result which went, Four for four, East five, five. Now, had it been the other way around, but East five <laughs> had won, right? It yeah. would be East five, five, four for four. East so five, I see, yes, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you spent long, arduous hours sort of uh, sitting there behind the, the microphone waiting to read the news and the sports results That's or right. introduce programmes? Yes. What sort of shifts do you do, long or...? We do a very long, our overnight news shifts are fairly long. We mm -hmm. start at six o'clock in the evening and read the news till midnight and then we come back in again at 6 in the morning and read the morning news from 6 till 11. So you, go, you, you finish at midnight, you go, and put you go home. No, we don't go home. We we'll stay on the premises. Oh, they have beds there too, oh, yes. oh, What sort of things happen there, James? This is even more exciting. Oh. Can I call you Jag? Apparently oh, yes, everybody calls do. you Jag. Please do. Everybody yes. calls me Jag. Okay. Now we have this little um, dormitory, really. Yeah. That's the best way to put it. Yeah. Now, I heard you, you slept at the Langham. The before, Langham. It, before it was the hotel that it yes. is today. And the BBC have rooms there. In fact, I stayed there once. Now, they're supposed to be haunted. Well, I'd, I did have an experience in the, in the Langham Hotel. Go on. Yes. But you I'm saw sure, a ghost. I'm sure you don't want to hear about it. Go that. on, tell me. Yes, you tell really me. want to yes, hear about it. Yes, I do. Yeah. Well, I was on an overnight shift, and I'd just gone to my room. Room 333, if you ever stay in the famous uh -huh. Langham Hotel. And I, I got into bed, and I was just dozing off. And I looked, and I thought, oh, I've forgotten to draw the curtains. I thought it was the, the moon shining through onto the mirror. And this, a ball of light appeared, and then it got longer and longer and stretched into a sort of human form. It, was like a, it looked like a cape, actually, and then it turned uh -huh. around. What did you do? Well, I was petrified, actually. I thought I was dreaming. Mm. So I sort of, you know, nipped myself to realise, and re realised I wasn't dreaming. And this shape turned round and came towards me with its hands outstretched, with a cape, and I also remember the, the tie pin in the cravat. That was quite incredible. Yeah. Yeah. And it came towards me, and as it got about two feet away from the bed, I grabbed my boot and sort of hurled it at it. And, uh, <laughs> the, and that was it? I, well, I asked, yeah. asked who it was. I said, you know, yeah. what are you? What, what do you want? And then I fled. And I you fled, fled? I fled across the broadcasting house. Uh -huh. And um, when I got there, Ray Moore, dear old Ray, was doing the early show in those days. And uh, Ray said, why are you in so early? And I said, well... I don't want to talk about it. And he said, I'll tell you. The ghost. He said, did you see? And Ray Moore had seen it. So it's something else that was uh, the heard but seldom seen. Indeed. Banged around. OK, we'll talk to you later, Jack. Thank you for the moment. Now, uh, here's a clue to our next guest. And then I'll tell her As I turn out the light I see my dark Ah, there we are. Now, who have we got on the show? Can you guess from that video who it is? Is Eric Clapton sitting next to me? Not unless he's had a sex change, he's not, no. 
Uh, this is Tessa Niles. Say hello to Tessa Niles. Okay. Tessa Niles is a backing singer, often heard, very seldom seen, except on there. And Eric Clapton has appeared on quite a lot of your, uh, your songs, hasn't he? He has, yeah. he has, thankfully. But not only Eric Clapton, we're going to show, you can roll the crawler, you can all watch this at, uh, in the studio and at home. These are some of the people that you have sung on their records. How, how on earth do you get into this sort of line? <clears throat> I don't know, I think you just start singing and you fall into it, basically. You do a couple of sessions for people and word of mouth and it just, just keeps on rolling. Is there anybody you haven't sung with that you would like to? Mm, Stevie Wonder. Stevie Wonder? Mm, yeah. Definitely. Have you let him know? No, I haven't seen him recently. You haven't? No, no, no? unfortunately not. Not since Mandela. <laughs> when they, I mean, when people are doing, uh, doing an album, they, they get in touch and they say, we've got to have Tessa on the... Uh... Basically, yeah. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. The thing, I mean, you're, you're dressed in sort of brown tonight, and I was expecting you to be in black, because every time I see backing singers, they all seem to be dressed in black. My entire wardrobe is black. Is it? Yeah black. Nobody ever asks anybody to wear any, anything else. Nobody ever says, now I want all the singers in yellow this evening. Because, I mean, I've just got a million little black dresses and that's it. I, it's time for a change, I think. I mean, they all do that little dance as well. Yeah, shifting the weight yeah. from one buttock yeah. to the Could next. Could you show me that? Just oh, show, show, show me that. Can we get a, get a <coughs> shot of this? Because if, if, you, if you see all these, they're all two or three in a line. Yeah, go. Yeah. And you have that look as well. No, that's fine. Look, look, because you have that look. Very sort of serious look, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, you, you must have a fantastic voice to be a backing singer, presumably. Yeah, you have to have a different kind of voice to an ordinary lead singer. You uh -huh. have to be very specialised and uh, it's, it's a different field, yeah. Why have you never yeah. made it on your own or, or so far? Why have you never got in there and done, and done the stuff yourself? It's a good question. I don't really know. Possibly the ingredients haven't been right up until now and, mm. and what I do best is maybe as a team player as opposed to being out front. Have you tried yet, making your own record? Mm, I have. Um, mm. Well, attempts. after tonight, you never know. Indeed. OK, so, I mean, you're sitting there. No, you're, you're standing there. You're wiggling there. Mm -hmm. And you're doing, the, uh, you, you, you're doing the little dance and listening to the song. Do you ever f sort of drift off, concentration goes? Occasionally, yes. What happens? I have to be honest. Well, I, I have been caught yawning before now. Have you? Yes, just, just the once. Mm. And I got a swift nudge from my partner who I was singing with. I, I, you know, it's, the trouble is with backing singing is that you're not singing the entire song. So you might be just singing and mm. ooh. Do they in, get... the, in the entire song. And then, you know, oh. you're twiddling your thumbs and shifting your weight from one <laughs> buttock to the next. For the... And then just going... Precisely. Okay, we'll come back and do some more oohs a little later on. Now, we've got a phone call to the States, I believe, and uh, over there we have from Spinal Tap the bass player Derek Smalls. Hello, Derek. Hello, James. How are you doing? All right? Yay! Fantastic. Yeah. Now, rock and roll. Rock and roll. We're going to see your video in a few moments. Great. And uh, Great. apparently there's a, a little confusion, or the director of the video got confused as to what he was making a video about. Well, uh, the song is called Bitch School. And it's about dog training, right? It's about dog training. Yeah. But they, the record company, fine record company we're with now, MCA, said, look, people don't want, when they watch a bit, they don't want to see dogs, they want to see people. Uh-huh. So they put in a lot of women. And you weren't really pleased with that, were you? Well, it's a compromise, isn't it? I it, mean, yeah. It's, it's yeah. the new maturity that we've attained that we said, right, maybe they know what they're doing, let's go with it. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we get a lot of... We get a lot of heat from the feminists, but all I can say is, if we had shot this video and said, look, video shoot tomorrow, no women allowed, what would the feminists have said then? Precisely. Precisely. And I, I can't understand how some of the lyrics I, I, I noted down while I was watching the video. Uh, right. No more sniffing strangers or roaming free at night. I mean, how could that be anything else but? Dogs. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah. All now, it is. Now, you're going to be playing on the show live on April the 3rd, aren't you? Uh, that's what I hear, yeah. Yeah, it was going to be your first uh, live TV performance in this country. We shall look forward to it. Derek, uh, thank you very much indeed. We're going to show I'm the video. i already, James. Would you, uh, would, you, would you introduce the video for us? I sure will. Fantastic. And now, a, an exclusive, a world exclusive premiere of the raunchy version of Spinal Tap's Bitch School. Turn it up! Yeah! I don't know how anybody <laughs> could uh... Right. I don't know how anybody could actually have mistaken that for a video about anything other than dog training. Spinal uh, trap, tap, 
<laughs> and they'll be appearing live on the show on April the 3rd. Now, a couple of people have been getting, quite a lot of you actually, the uh, codes on the phone-in numbers wrong. If you want to phone in and get on the show tonight, this is the number to call. 0532 46 1000. 0532 46 1000. If you want to call, ah! Ah! Uh, call the call box, then uh, it's 0898 46 1000. 08 98 46 1000. Back in a moment. <laughs> This is Channel W. On April the 3rd, the James Whale Radio Show will be looking at women's issues, including premenstrual syndrome. So if you're a sufferer or someone close to you is affected by PMS and you'd like to take part, do get in touch. And now for something intriguing and unusual, an interview with me. Beautifully read, Veronica. Thank you very much indeed. In fact, uh, that, that show's coming up on April the 3rd. If you'd like to be in the studio audience and take part in it, please give us uh, a call or write to us at this address, Wales Mail, Yorkshire Television, Leeds LS31JS. Thank you very much indeed. And uh, quick first aid. Are you right? It was messy, wasn't it, really? It was very messy. It frightened the life out. I mean, you, I could feel my heart going. Oh, now, Veronica. Yes. Oh, do that. Oh, sorry. Ver Veronica, of course, is, is, is the lady who you often hear on Channel 4, at the moment, really, and, mm. and various other places as well, because yeah. not only can you speak English, you can speak uh, fluently, um, let's see, German, Spanish, Italian, Czech, and is that right? German, uh, French, yeah. German. Spanish, yes. Italian and Czech, and also a knowledge of Dutch, Polish and Portuguese. Good God. What, do you want me to sort of... No, no, I just... No. How can anybody know all those languages? Well, because I sound fairly English, but actually my mother sounds very much like this. Yes. She will not thank me very much for doing it, but this is where I learned how to speak <laughs> foreign accents. It's because, oh, I see, because the British are useless at learning <laughs> foreign languages. I was going to say, how on earth could you learn all those? Uh, do you mind being sort of uh, often heard but seldom seen or not? I don't know. It gives you um, the scope to be versatile, I suppose. Mm. You know, so I can do that, or I can be American, or I can do whatever I want. Because if they know what you look like, people tend to typecast you as what you are, you know, what, what I look like and the way I sound normally. <clears throat> but the same, yes, the same as you sound as well, though. I mean, don't yeah. they, they, they tend to, to typecast people in the way their voices are. Yeah, I mean, I, I think it's, it is versatile. I mean, I think probably the, the downside of it is that you're an accompanist, you're not a, you know, you're not the star. You've got to do it well. So when I do a documentary mm. or something like that, and I'm doing the voiceover, I must do it well. But nobody's going to come round afterwards and say, that was terrific, you know, you were the show, because you mm. weren't the show, it's, it's the programme. But when Channel 4 first started, you were very much the voice of Channel oh, 4, Oh, yes, and that was wonderful. I mean, we were a team, and we were sort of setting the, the identity mm. of the place. Didn't you get bored? I mean, what did you do through those long spells of... of, of Presumably, you don't watch all the programmes. Oh, we do. We do watch them all, and we watch them from start mm. to finish, and we write all the commentary. But there was uh, one instance some years ago, and I uh, hope they weren't mine. Um, it was Napoleon, which is about four and a half oh, hours long. long. Yes. A very yeah. long film yeah. on a Sunday afternoon. And, yeah. and I was recently married at that time, and at that time I had to do the, the chores, you know. So um, I brought the ironing board in with me and I ironed my husband's shirts. Did you? Yeah. Are you good at that sort of thing? Oh, well, I was quite good at it, yes. Send any uh, ironing <laughs> that you have to us and we'll pass it on to Veronica. Yeah. Now, you've, you've recently done a voiceover for a sex video as well. We had a couple a few weeks ago bonking on the programme and had I known you, I don't know if it was that video, you could have come in and done a running commentary. Did yes. you enjoy that? I was very glad that I was in my little box all by myself. I thought that, you know, I'm very cool, mm. I'm a mother, you know, I can cope with anything. But actually, when I saw them doing it on the screen... And you had to describe and it I, intimately. You, know, you have to look at the picture, you have to look at the picture and you read the script and then you have to describe what they're doing and uh -huh. stuff. Well, come, that, keep that thought. I will. And we'll come back and we'll do some more of that a little bit later on. Now, uh, recently, I, uh, I, I, I hear that we sent our intrepid reporter out on... Uh, uh, a little job down to find out about somebody called Foley, and this is his expert report. <laughs> now, you may wonder why I'm looking so sort of uh, happy. Well, I knew it was only a matter of time. Yesterday, Pinewood Studios rang, that's where I am now, and said, would you like a part in a movie? I didn't have to answer, of course, they knew I would. A part, believe it or not, playing a Mr. Foley. Exciting. 
Hello! Ah, James Whale, your star has arrived. You've come to do some Foley. Mr. Foley, yes. Ah. Mr. Foley, I am yours now. Right. Well. I'll take my jacket off. You'll I'll need get... these. What? Foley's. So, joking apart, Graham, this Mr. Foley character, you think I may, may well, have got this the wrong way round, but yes. I better... Foley's is a name used for uh, the, re the recording of the sound effects, footsteps and sound effects afterwards, and it's named after a George Foley, who was probably the first one to do it in America. This is where you put all the effects on movies, is that right? All the final soundtrack is mixed in here. In fact, the soundtracks are prepared for us by the sound editors, and there's a room upstairs that will play off um, any number of sound effects, dialogue tracks, and music tracks. And each one of them will come down through a fader here, mm. and we will equalize them and balance them one against another and pan them across the screen for stereo and mix the whole lot together, myself with a team of mixers, um, for every feature film. I thought that in this day and age with modern technology that the banging on doors, ringing doorbells, and all that sort of thing was, was out of the window. I thought they just used actual sound. Well, we like, yes, obviously we like to use the original sound because that's the best performance. But there are many reasons why you can't use it. It might be a period picture and there are jet airplanes flying around. Hmm. Or um, the other reasons you may have, it may be a space picture where, there, where you can't actually be there in space. There are lots of reasons why we would have to use uh, sound that's made afterwards. And anyway, the, uh, when you take off the English dialogue, the, all films will be need to be dubbed into a foreign language. So when you take off the original soundtrack with the dialogue, you'd be left with uh, nothing unless you recorded all the sounds and placed all the sounds in without the dialogue. I think I've got the hang of this, Graham. No, it's a bit fast. You're oh, oh, sorry? a bit faster than they're oh, walking. Oh, hang on. Sorry about that. Uh, and the, take and, two. And you forgot the postman's line. What does he say? Morning, Mrs. J. Morning, Mrs. J. Take two. Morning, Mrs. J. You're doing the whole thing. Ta-da! Morning, Mrs. J. Do you think um, they will ever be the same again? There we are. Thank you to Rank Films and a piece from the new Julie Walters film that's called Just Like a Woman. And I am Julie Walters' footsteps, but not all through the film. Now, with me is Atia. How are you? Real good, James. Good. You're not as cold as you were earlier. I noticed no. you were quite cold earlier. Yes. You seem to have warmed up a little bit. Well, they had me dancing, you know. They did, didn't they? Yes, and I was watching the trick. that. Now, Atia is, of course, as you can see, not dressed up like this for, uh, for a bet. Atia is actually a <laughs> belly dancer. That's right. And comes from? Uh, Los Angeles. Do they do a lot of this in Los Angeles? Oh, a great deal of it. Why? Well, because it's excellent exercise mm -hmm. and it's a lot of fun. And uh, it's very creative. It's very creative. Yes. Yeah. It's be becoming the latest sort of sensation. Oh, it's been very popular uh -huh. in the U.S. for a long time. I, w I was noticing a little earlier that, I mean, part of your body seems to be kind of double-jointed. Is it a sort of right around in, 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 in this sort of area here? <laughs> no, that's it's how you get just from belly dancing. You really? Get, you get flexible. You get very flexible. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll, bet, I'll bet you are, yes. How, lo how long have you been doing it yourself? <laughs> Over 10 years. Over 10 years? Mm -hmm. So you started when you were... Um... Oh, about um, 18. Oh, or... Really? Really? <laughs> So uh, you're, 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 not, uh, you're not opposed to going and, and doing this all over the world, let alone the country. Well, I like to perform. I know. Yes. Yeah. And so. you're going to perform for us now, aren't oh, you? Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, I mean, if the audience wish to sort of look and, and learn, maybe we'll be asking questions on this a little later on. Okay. Watch uh, Barry down here, Britain's smallest cameraman, because he's going to try and get in for some fairly good close shots of you. Oh, well, I'll keep an eye out for Barry. If he gets too close, <laughs> give him a good kick, because we don't, you know, we don't mind too much, all right? Oh, OK. Well, okay. Barry, watch out. Fantastic. Ladies and gentlemen, now with the ancient belly dancing routine, to the music of U2's Mysterious Ways, Atia!
that you should get some more boring interludes because your interlude last program was really interesting. I found that barn owls were really, really, really good. It was very nice watching the uh, the clips of the barn owl. Would it be possible for you to point out that the barn owl is a rare species in this country? What the hell do rubbish? Now, you may remember last week, uh, we couldn't find the name of the winner to the week before last's competition, but we found that now. Helen Morton from Glasgow wins. Well, it was so long ago, I've actually forgotten. And uh, this, week's, um, <laughs> this week's competition, uh, we've got some videos to give away. This one is for belly dancing. OK, as you can, you can see, that, that is uh, a Tears new video and really raunchy stuff on there. Uh, we've got uh, here two of Veronica's videos, and she's on all these. And uh, Tessa over here found three videos we're giving away that uh, she has made. She's had help here from uh, Elton John, Bernie Taupin, Tears for Fears, and Eric Clapton. Yes. A lot of these people do appear on your videos, and it's nice to see. And uh, old Jag over there, you're, uh, you're on the Little Angels and <laughs> Live Baby Live. Live Baby Live. How about that? I'm, I'm surprised. I'm surprised. Yeah. I like that, but it's, it's nice to know. It's nice to know. Thank you very much indeed for that. This week, to win a fantastic... Oh, these. This is what you're winning this week. You, uh, you have to answer this one simple question. It's a spell question. It's a little difficult, I know. And uh, you have to, first of all, ring the competition line number, which is coming up on the screen as we speak. There we are, 0898 500 treble 1. And you have to ring up and spell barn owl. Don't give it away. <laughs> barn owl. You have to spell barn owl. And uh, the one we pick out of the, uh, the calls next week will receive all these goodies. Fantastic. Right, what are we doing now? Just chatting amongst ourselves? Taking a few calls. A few calls. We've had a lot of people ringing in saying fart. And I know <laughs> farts are heard but seldom seen, but it's a bit obvious. OK, Brian from Crawley. Hello, Brian. Hello, Jim. Yes, Brian. Uh, one thing that annoys me is, uh, standing waiting for a train, you, oh, you always hear the voice of the announcer telling you that your train's delayed. Why do we never see these people? Why do you never see these people? I don't know, really. Jack, do, uh, do you find... I, I, it's a very... We try... We should have got one, really, shouldn't we? We should have had somebody from... Uh, uh, sorry. From uh, British Rail? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't. I'm sorry about that. We didn't. Uh, crawl, yes, fine. Brian, when you wake up, call us back again. Uh, David from Cumbria. Hello, David. Hello. Yes, hello, David. Mm. James, we've often heard next door's oh, bed in violent operation, but never seen it yet, so maybe if Maureen's listening, will she give us a chance to see it? We'll give it a knock on the wall. It's a shame we haven't got Noel Edmonds cameras over there, really, and see if you can uh, <laughs> see if you can yeah. get any sort of response. Yeah. Yeah. So you hear your next door neighbours quite regularly, do you? Quite regularly. Yeah. Yeah. But you've not seen them. Never seen. Okay. Them, well, no. perhaps if they get in touch, uh, they might they might let us know. David, thank you for that. <laughs> thank you. Um, mind you. Yes. Uh, Tracy from London. Hello, Tracy. What part of London? Hello. Tracy. Hello. Yes, Tracy. Hello. Oh. Where were you, Tracy? We're in Ballam. Where? Ballam. Yeah, now, where were you? Oh, never mind, Tracy. Yeah, so what was your point? Um, I quite like to go out with a bloke with a teepee on. You what? The, blo the bloke is the right of you with the toupee on. <laughs> is that you, Jack? Have you got a toupee? No, it's all mine. Look. Is that yours? Yeah, it's all mine. It's, it's all, all yours? No, yes? it's a toupee. No, it's not. Honestly, it's not a toupee. <laughs> no, it's real. Oh, it it's real. It's not, is it? It's real. It's real. Absolutely. It's real. Yep. Look. Look at that. <laughs> That is real. I mean, I, I look. <laughs> that is real. <laughs> that is real. <laughs> James, James is a very, very good sport there. Yeah. I mean, th are there any parts of you that aren't real? Oh, yeah. I don't think we're going to do that this morning. You don't want to talk about no, any I of that? No, I don't think so. Oh, okay. Fine. I'd like to go out with them anyway, like. You'd like to what? Whatever parts of him aren't real, you know. Whatever parts of him aren't real, you'd like to know about. <laughs> yeah. Tough. Uh, Graham from East Anglia. Hello, Graham. Morning, Mr. J. Morning, Mr. Graham. I'd uh, like to tell you something that is seen, but... Uh, sorry, heard, but not seen. Uh, heard, but not seen? Yeah. OK. And they're called baked beans. 
<laughs> that was a clever way of getting round it because I said, I said, don't let's have anybody on who wants to say fart because you know it's no. pretty obvious. <laughs> and that was really... a, that was a clever way of getting round it, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah. But... Yeah. What I was really phoning up to inquire if I can come up April the third for my birthday. <laughs> yeah, you can come up. Just write and let us know. Thank you very much indeed, Graham. Um, <laughs> Let's get back, first of all, for Veronica over here, because yes. Veronica was telling us about her uh, narration, her narration to um, the sex video. Yes, go on. Um, do you know what split level is? No, no, what's that? Is it cooking, some sort of Anyone? cooker? Sort of, no. Well, ask your, ask your viewers, maybe somebody can suggest. They could ring in and tell us, mm -hmm. yes. Did you know what it was before? I certainly didn't. And did you find out? Yes. Yep. But I don't know if I could possibly repeat it, really. This is a, this but it is involves a, a man and a woman. This is a Channel 4 announcer. Absolutely. But, well, we have very so, distinctive programmes yes. on Channel 4, but I don't know if I could actually bring myself to... Oh, go on. To describe. Oh, go on. Don't encourage her, please. I mean, for goodness sake. <laughs> well, I mean, you'd have to demonstrate it with me. Yeah! <laughs> I mean, I'm just to show you what to do. Yeah! yeah. yeah. Is this a children's programme? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, go on. But we're all right. But you'd have to sit on the floor, though. Can you do that? I'd have to sit on the, on the floor. Well, I mean, can, can we come, do that? Can we sit on the chair like this? Wouldn't this be a better? Oh, all right. What? Can we, can we sit like this on the... Um, just, to, just... Well, yes. Hold up. Could we do it this way, well, do you think? Well, we could, but my skirt's a bit tight. You could... How about sitting on my lap? Come and sit I on my lap. I could sit on your lap. Yes, if you sit on my lap, that's yeah. more or less it. Is that OK? That's more or less it. OK. So <laughs> I think if... if well, if, if I do it with you... Yes. As a, purely as a demonstration... Of course, yes. And, Jag, could you do it with Tessa? <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, yes. Uh, uh, is that, uh, because, yeah, OK. So if, is that all right? Mm? OK, well, let me do it first just to demonstrate. Sit on my and then, lap. then we will show. Uh, right. We'll be back after this break. Right. OK, right. now, it's sort, sort of... Yes. We'll be back after this, after this break. Right. Hang on, do I need to take... Um, on. <laughs> back after the break. <laughs> Jack linked to the break. Oh, yes, yeah, so linked to the break, for God's sake, yes. Let's take a commercial break. Right. OK, take... Okay. Yes, all right? Sit down, sit down. OK, right. Sit down, that's, right. that's sort of it. Really. Look! <laughs> I'm sorry. Right. Okay. So okay. it's just it's 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 it's. That's right. No, hang on. This isn't funny. <laughs> Get them off. <clears throat> it's right, okay. time for our commercial break. Did you break. want to? Did you? No, you have to sit on me. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I see. I see. <laughs> I see what you're trying to do, but I mean, it's not something. It's not really something for a, 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 a television show, is it? I think if we uh, we go, we should have got a tear to join in there as well because she was probably better dressed for it. Sorry, that's very good, Jack. Did you enjoy that? Yes, yes. <laughs> and I don't think that part was false at all that you had there. Uh, anyway, would you like to rabbit back? <laughs> could we um, could we have some more calls down here? Is that a? Why? Right. Okay. Well, I thought we would. Um, you can have the rabbit. Right, where were we? Uh, Tessa. Yes. T t talk me through the last time you, you sang with uh, Eric Clapton. You were at the uh, Albert Hall? Albert Hall. What was that like? The emotion. emotion. Tell me. Oh, it was throbbing. Sort of the crowd <laughs> were heaving. Could you um, yeah, try not to be quite so Sorry. sort of... Sorry. It was great. Yeah. It was lovely. Black dress, little black dress? Little black dress. Yeah. Little black dress. Of course, it's the uniform. Of course. And uh, it was very moving. It was very mm. lovely. Can you yeah. remember the song that, that, that you had the most to do in, or not? Um... No. <laughs> Sorry? What did you... What, what, what words did you sing? Oh, um, I probably sang, You Look Wonderful Tonight. Yeah. Which you do. Yeah, I know, well, I know. But did you, um... <laughs> did you, do you sing, You Look Wonderful Tonight? That's a lot for a backing singer to sing. It's oh, usually... Oh, we, we <clears> sing <throat> a few more. Yeah? Yeah. We, yeah. Si we sing, um, bits in, in every song, in fact. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Have you ever wanted to be a, a, a backing singer or not? What, ooh ah, ooh ah? Yeah. Yes, I would like to have done it. <laughs> yeah. Ooh, yeah. Yes, I, it could have been fun. <laughs> have you ever tried that? Have you ever tried that? I have. But that's not what it could have done. No. no. Uh -uh. Carry on talking anyway for a moment. I'll be back okay. in a minute. Just carry on because. Where's he gone? No, okay. it's just carry on. Oh, talk, okay. interview him. Yeah. yeah, okay. Um, well, I did oh, once actually for, for an English series and we had to sing and I had to sing so I can't sing very well. <laughs> but we all wore red wigs, wigs and stuff. But how, what did you sing? Um, what were you doing? Nya, 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 nya. It was really terrible. I used to love that um, shell commercial. <laughs> Which one? It's some, something like Bing Crosby. Do you ever remember that one? That was great. That I must always have been before my time. You did, it's yeah. a much oh, yeah. maligned job, I think. I mean, it's, it's, it sounds but like... I just, but, but you are kind of in the background. It would be oh. nice to see you kind of come 
come to the fore. Occasionally. Uh, but it's the nature of the job. Tell me, but really. uh, do lead singers have relationships with their backing singers? I've often wondered about that. Did you see the movie The Commitments? Yeah. That put my job back about 50 years. I mean, it's like the band bikes. You know, the girls were just bonking everything in sight, and it really isn't like that, honestly. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Okay, wondered, that's fantastic. All. Yes, that would be. And yeah. if you believe so, that, you'll buy this watch. Really? <laughs> yes. Yeah. No, no, so, it doesn't happen. If anybody, maybe News of the World are looking in, and uh, that, that's a pretty good story. So, uh, which was the best uh, singer you. Uh, <laughs> Appeared, appeared with. No, no, no. No? No, no, I wouldn't oh. dream of this. Okay. Thing. Shall we have a little music? Yes. Okay, Why would you like a little music? Very nice. Okay, now this is, uh, this is recorded um, uh, by the team here. We went down to London to Covent Garden, and uh, it's all like, this is actually the music you're going to hear now was actually the music that they say. I'm explaining this to you because it's quite often not that way. Usually you sort of do a film and then dub music over the top. This is the actual music. And we're quite proud of this. Le Negre Vert and Zubi Lamouche. Sorry, Veronica. Fantastic. Zubi la mouche. Very nice. And watch this face. Brilliant. Do you like that? I thought it was wonderful, actually. Good, good. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Paul Zenon. Let us just get a little look at this. Paul, of course, cut his arm off, as you saw earlier on on the show, so we've had to tie it out of the way. And uh, you are into this... Uh, is this a, 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 a Benetton? Um, or uh, this is, well, it's the latest spring fashion. This yes. is uh, a regulation straight jacket made of leather, probably the same sort the viewers are toying with in their bedrooms as we speak. Yes. Uh, it's, got, uh, it's got studs down the front. It's also Do got some... Do they all some, come uh, with these studs down the front? That's right. Well, this one's got some studs inside as well, but that's just like a personal preference thing. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's... Can we have a look at this? Yeah, a bit short of, a few, yeah pretty right. nice. Yeah. How do you ride a motorbike in this? It must be oh, pretty. We do at the moment because I'm actually clutching a small rodent between my buttocks yes. at the moment. Oh, you've well, got a little. So. Uh, can we see? Can we get Baz in here? Yeah, uh, uh, mini cam, Baz. Um, you right. got you got that. That's Richard, tight there. Yeah, eat that? your heart out. Yes. Yeah, cool, yeah, yeah, all done up. Nice, it's, it's very nice. nice. So yes, do you go out you. to parties like this or what? what I do, do what yes, do? well, yes, well, as you know, James. As I know, yes, <laughs> yes. I was still... <laughs> yes, we talked about it in the toilets yes. earlier, but yeah. we won't go into yeah. that. Yeah. yeah, but you can't hold anything now, can you, really? So you're uh, knackered. Um... <laughs> <laughs> all right, it'll be nice. <clears throat> <clears throat> yes, that's OK. So what we're going to do is you're going to sing a song and get out of it, are you? Well, that's right, yeah. I mean, basically, it's, it's something that I, uh, I picked up while I was in Amsterdam. Oh, you stand over here in that case. Yeah, the other thing I picked up there cleared up now, so it's all right. Good, good. Yeah, I'm actually going to uh, sing Wild Thing while escaping from a straitjacket. Uh, yeah. There's no real reason for this, except it does actually guarantee free entry into the Freemasons. Oh, you could be a special policeman as well, couldn't you? Oh, that's very kind of you. Yes, it? yes, that's when right. When do I yeah. start? Yeah, well, as uh, soon as you can get your cosh out. No, um, <laughs> this is pretty good. Right, well, would you like to see this now? Yep. Okay, if he, if, so he makes for that. A, if he makes a cock up, you've got my permission to boo, hiss, and scream at him, okay? Thanks, James. Ladies and gentlemen, the incredible Paul Zenon! Thank you. Um, just before we start, I'd, um, I'd just like to dedicate this trick to all the ugly people watching. I won't name you individually, you know who you are. This is the straight jacket escape, but first, a song. <laughs> Wild thing, you make my heart sing. You make everything groovy. Wild thing, wild thing, I think I love you, but I wanna know for sure. Come on, wild thing, hold me tight. Quite that tight. Ah. Wild thing, you make my heart sing. You make everything groovy, 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 wild thing.
Cheers. Cigars over as well. Oh, where's a tear? Come and come and come and sit on the floor, a tear. We uh, we vacked it earlier. Um, that was good. You enjoyed that. I'm glad to see you got them, them them chained in pretty well. Oh, have a, have a, would you like to sit? Really here? You could have my chair, but I'm not that sort of gentleman. You mean I can sit on your lap? You can sit on my lap, okay? But I'm, I'm a bit sort of shagged out now, really. Um, <laughs> Was that, I wanted to know you was got. It, good for you? it was pretty good for me. I wanted to know how, and, and I know Veronica did because she was excited. How do you get your hand right round there? Uh, we'll show you later. We yeah. talked about that earlier. The fee's gone up. So Has it? Yes. Yeah. Well, because Veronica's got all these. The funny thing is, Veronica told me about these great things that she learned in this sex video. Well, yes. Yeah, and so she said we're all going to try them out later. Yeah. Well, I mean, I auditioned for it, and uh, they didn't get me a job, but they said it was definitely on the short list. <laughs> <laughs> Ta -da, da -da, da -da. <laughs> OK, shall we, uh, we're going to try yes. a few calls. I don't know if it'll be any good, but we're going to, you know, lots of... Uh, Jules from Manchester, hello. All right, Jimmy. All right. All right, mate. Yes, Jules, uh, and your point is... Well, yeah, your show tonight, I believe, is about people... Things, sorry, things that are rarely seen but often heard. I was thinking, for example, your anus. Thank you very much, indeed. <laughs> yes. We've, uh, we've, uh, we've already had that one, all right, but never mind. Somebody with that sort of voice, of course, couldn't be expected to think of anything more intelligent, could they? Uh, Anne, who's barking? No, I'm from barking, not who's barking. Oh, sorry, Anne, yes. Thank you it's very just, much. I was going to do an impression of a packing singer. You were going to do an impression of a packing singer? Yeah. This is one of, your, uh, one of your friends, do you think? Uh, no. Well, no. I thought I did it, didn't I? This is no, the first, no. first time call. Go on, then. Right. Move close. Move your body real close until we feel oh, that we making love. Do you want to press that? That gets rid of the call. Good, <laughs> 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 yeah, that's good. Right. Would you play that on Radio 2? I doubt it. I doubt it. That's wonderful. Could you like do me a couple of Radio 2 links? I'm like a sort of... Gone. Say, a Radio 2 Yeah, you know, sort of, this is Radio 2. This is BBC Radio 2. The time, one o'clock. Did a little, 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 little. There you go. News headlines? Yes. The news <laughs> at one o'clock. <laughs> well, she have a quick round of, uh, of football results. <laughs> this won't mean a thing to you, but you'll enjoy it. We're all a bit mad, oh, you I'm see, really? really. You're learning? Yes. Good. What's good, your favourite team? I haven't got one. Oh, I haven't you? Yeah, no. Academicals. Right, and what, what's the other team like? Um, Accrington Stanley. Oh, Hamilton yeah. Academical can't play Accrington Stanley, though. Cause don't get, no, don't get coy with us, Jag. I oh, mean, I the, you know. <laughs> Hamilton Academical won, Accrington and Stanley four. Woo! Like yes. oh. <laughs> Matthew in London. Hello, Matthew. Hello. Seen but seldom, or no, heard but, because a tear is seen but seldom heard. Uh, heard but seldom seen. Can I have a word with uh, Barking Anne from Madville? Yeah? You have a word with Barking Anne. Find her somewhere in the, uh, <laughs> in the ether. Margaret from County Durham. Hello, Margaret. Hello, Jeff. Play Misty. I know. It's the next line coming on. Yes, Margaret. I've seen the caring side of James Wales. Sorry about that. Stupid one. All uh, right. Um... <clears throat> <laughs> Sorry, I, I beg your pardon, Margaret. I do. I, I don't know what came over me then. I sort of. I, I, said, I think that call was for you. I think it was for you. <laughs> oh dear, was it? Uh, John from Harrow. Hello, John. Oh, hi, Jane. Yes, John. Hi. Um, I was very upset about all those people who phoned in with the obvious thing about um, washing noises. Yes. Um, Lachlan. Um, Can uh, we get to the point noise, because but, I um, hear the yeah. end of music. Well, coming. the thing is, they can actually. The sea. I said, mine's mine. It's great. Yeah. When I mean, yeah. it's not the sea. The 
very good, OK. <laughs> I'm Next time. I'm just going to fire for them. Yeah. Um, All people need to do just, it. Uh, just... I reject... OK, fine. Thank you very much, John. Next week, we're, uh, we're doing a programme on a different point of view. <laughs> and we have somebody who enjoys walking on glass. It'll be quite fun, walking on glass. And uh, we have an interview with a new saint. All right, a brand new saint and somebody who has met people from another planet next week. Now, where's that crap from the audience? <laughs>